What's up guys and welcome back to Built. Today we're going to be working on the Dirt Dragon a little bit, getting it ready to hit the trail. We may be taking it to the trail in this video, depends on how long this takes. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to tools for marketing and analytics, Squarespace is your one-stop shop to run your business online. But first, I want to update you on some stuff I did this weekend. I had a little bit of free time and I wanted to add some creature comforts and tie up a few loose ends on this thing. So the first deal is, since I put the fenders on, backing up the trailer has been nearly impossible. It took us like 40 tries to get lined up with the Porsche. It's super hard just because you can't see the trailer at all. So I put a camera on the back and we're gonna test that out in just a minute to see if it makes lining this thing up a little bit easier. Now along with the camera being on the back for the trailer, I think it's gonna help on the trail as well when I'm trying to reverse in tight spots. I'll be able to see exactly how far I am from a tree, stump, hill, whatever we got some video functionality internet compatibility all kinds of cool stuff with the double den that's just going to help on trips and stuff especially with children and then finally we are going to be painting our bedsides now i need to paint the whole truck i'm going to paint the whole truck a really cool color uh, but before we do that it has to all be kind of the same color because it's gonna be a quick paint job this is a trail rig so i'm not going to try to get it to like a show car type finish it's just going to be i just want it to look really cool and so we're going to paint it but I need everything to be the same color. I thought I could use primer, but I figured while we're at it, we might as well just use the color of the truck. So we're gonna color match the bedsides and the front fenders today. The truck should look super awesome when that's done. And then we'll be set up for the next stage of this build. Okay, you guys are caught up now. Let's get to work. This thing is awesome. It seriously might be the best thing I've done to the truck so far. It makes backing up and hooking up this trailer so much easier. No, I mean, you can't, that one doesn't come with new batteries, you know? What? That one doesn't come with new batteries. We've got the new batteries here. For the Megalodon yeah. or for your El Toro Loco? El Toro Loco? Oh. Yeah, we do have batteries for that. I pulled these seats out uh, to run the video cable, so because I added a camera, I had to have a video input, so I ran it under the carpet. There's a grommet that's in the back of this bed. Just cut a hole in the grommet, pushed it through, and now we have a video input in the back of the truck, which is pretty cool. You done? Look Can out. Get something. I'm gonna put this on.
Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop for everything you need to run your business online. The thing I love about Squarespace is that everything is integrated. So I have my shop, I have galleries for my cars that are completely customizable, and all the pages and things you need to know, whether you're a brand looking to advertise with Built or a fan of the channel that just wants to know more, it's all there in that one website. And Squarespace makes it really easy to modify and edit and make the site work the way that I need the site to work. Squarespace has given Built fans a discount code. So you can go to squarespace.com slash Built Official or you can click the link right down there and you can pick up a discount as well as a free trial of Squarespace to see what it can do for you and your business. Let's get back to the show. So we've got all the parts staged, uh, put the bedsides, these things are huge. I was like, you gotta put everything on the table, but the bedsides are bigger than the table. So um, I've got the bedsides up on the table, this is just how they're gonna have to be, and then the fenders on the chairs. Um, but yeah, I think we're ready to go. You notice I didn't really sand all the guide cut off. I know you OCD guys are probably gonna freak out about it, it's okay. Um, I just didn't feel like it, I know. But I did fix all those areas. Uh, we sprayed some filler primer on some spots. I hit that with some 600, so it's smooth. Every every repair area looks really good. And that's why I love fiberglass, actually. So a lot of guys are like, hey, why don't you build stuff out of metal? And I do sometimes, but the thing about metal is it dents, and dents are hard to fix. Cracks in fiberglass are fast and easy to fix. And so with something like this that I'm going to be thrashing on, it's just so much easier to have fiberglass for me. I'm just better at repairing it. I'm faster at repairing it. This took me all of like a few hours just to prepare all these things that I broke so far. Um, all right, I think we're ready. I'm gonna clean these things up real good. And uh, hopefully my gun is clean. I can't tell, it looks like it's a part over there. And then we're gonna spray these things with single stage metallic. I don't have very high hopes for this paint, but we'll see.
Okay, so this color does not look like the color of my car. I actually really like it, but it doesn't look like the color of my car. Now, I don't know if it's if it's because I went over a white base. That's likely what it is. Maybe it's supposed to be painted over a black base or something. I just don't know. But it looks straight up blue in here, and I'll show you what I mean. I even went back and checked the color code, and uh, I mean, it's the right color code, but it did not... Uh, it did not come out the same. Now, it might end up still looking cool or whatever, that's fine. But yeah, it definitely did not look the same. I also had trouble with the metallic. You could see the striping here, which is not good. This is one of those things, spraying metallics in this place specifically is really difficult because the lighting is kind of bad. And I've tried to remedy the lighting several times and I just can't quite get it bright enough in here to really see what I'm doing. Now on gloss colors it doesn't matter because you don't have to worry about how everything lays out. Um, but I'm afraid this is going to be super noticeable in the sun. Which honestly for you guys is probably good because that will encourage me to paint it faster. Um, overall, you know, it looks okay. This is a single stage paint so it's... There I am. See me? It's glossy right out of the gun and it sprays a lot like clear coat. I got a few runs which in single stage is bad because you can't sand them out. At least I don't think you can. It wouldn't make sense that you could sand metallic single stage. If it was gloss, it would probably work. So this is just going to be the, uh, the way we leave it. We're going to let these dry. Uh, they've been drying now for probably an hour and a half, so I feel pretty comfortable being in here. Uh, but we've got to let them dry for eight hours before we can handle them and put them on the car and stuff. So I'm just going to let them dry till tomorrow, and we'll come back tomorrow, throw them on the truck, and we're going to see uh, we're going to see what they look like. I just let me just show you. So okay, get a good look at this, and you know you can see it's pretty blue. Yeah, there we go. Okay, got it. Now come out here. And maybe this is just sun damage from the years and years of this thing being outside, but man, that is not the same color. Get on the other side. There we go. Just, this looks gray, and that is blue. And there are two grays that came on this truck, but this is the K11, or I think it's called like smoke metallic or whatever which is the same as what that is. So yeah, we messed up somewhere, but I don't know. Maybe it'll look cool. We'll see in just a second when I cut. That is not the same color. Like, not even in the same family. Nothing close. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look better either. It just looks different. <laughs> it did. Oh, geez. I definitely gave them the right color code, but this does not look like it.
this color is called like smoke metallic or something. The code is K11, which is what I gave the paint mixer. And this is what we got. Now there are some variations and you do have a human physically mixing the paint by weight. So there are some ish, some some irregularities, I guess I would say. And I'm used to that and I expected that, but I expected these to look like a darker version of that. It's typically what you get almost always or, or a shade lighter or whatever. Not that big of a deal, but this is a different color altogether. This is like navy. Uh, I don't even know if Nissan painted a truck this color. I do know they had a navy truck. And I know that in 06 you could get this thing in navy. So maybe this is the color. Maybe he got it mixed up. I don't know. Yeah, kind of a bummer, but um, it's all sort of one color, I guess. This is a little bit of a bummer, but the fenders do look really cool with some shiny paint on them. <laughs> and so that's exciting. I'm going to fix my gas can thing next. It was too shallow for the new widened fender, so I've got to get a new fuel hose and run that out a little bit. Hopefully I'll keep my voice for the rest of this video. And then we'll bolt our taillights in. And um, I think then we will have completed all of the annoying jobs for this truck and we'll be ready to take it off road. So here you're really going to see the difference in color between the old gas door and the new bedside. Also, I'm having trouble now that it's painted getting this to fit. I think I'm going to have to trim or bend this edge in a little bit. I did move the filler cap back to its original home. Well, I guess its new home. And I think it's going to do fine right there. So now I don't have to worry about mud getting kicked up in there. As you can see, it was getting everywhere. So that's good. I need to fix that. That's going to drive me nuts. All right, there we go. It may not look better, but it does look different. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty happy with how the paint came out itself. I wish that the color matched, but overall, having everything painted is awesome. I think it looks really, really great, especially the bed. I don't know why, but the white bed just bothered me. And I think it looks really good now that it's all painted in one, well, two colors, two different colors than it was before. There's a couple of next steps for this truck, and we're gonna kinda do it when I need to, basically. What happened this week is the engine for the MG didn't get pulled in time, so I did this video instead, and that's kinda how this build is gonna work. Um, plus, I'm daily driving this thing, so I need to be able to knock out projects quick on it so I can get it back on the road and use it, because I've gotta tow stuff all the time. I just, I need a truck. I already have suspension for this truck, so a lot of you guys have been telling me I need to lift it, I know. Uh, one of the first, actually the first thing I bought for this truck was suspension, but the suspension I want to use is going to require more fabrication than I originally thought. So I'm actually about to go to Chase's house. I'm going to get him to look at it. He's got a real fabricator -y kind of brain, and so I'm going to get him to look at it and tell me if he thinks it's going to work or not. If it's not, I'll just buy an off-the-shelf lift kit and we'll throw it on there. But if it is going to work, it's going to be sick. So we'll try to get that to work. And then another big thing, a big project, really the, the last big fabricating project on this truck is going to be bumpers. So we'll do a full tube front bumper. I'll show you how to do that at home with your own tools. And we'll do a full tube back bumper. And I'm going to build a cage on the back to mount stuff to like my mountain biking mounts, um, extra fuel, extra water, things like that. And we'll probably run a second battery back there as well just to power a few auxiliary things. That's the plan. Depending on how easy or difficult the suspension is going to be is going to depend on what I do next. So if we find out a simple solution for the suspension, we'll roll into that next. If we don't, then we'll roll into the bumpers next as we kind of develop 
the idea for the suspension on this truck. Hope you guys are enjoying this build. I know it's a little different from what we normally do. We are going to be doing the MG and the 911 coming up. I'm waiting on parts for some. I'm waiting on some fluids and stuff like that for the 911. We just got some stuff we're waiting on. So make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the builds. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I have it, I should have it. We'll cut to some footage of this thing on the trail. Check it out. Shoe poo poo head. Hey CC head. Hey Kiki head. Hey Nunu head. Hey Say Say head. Hey Cuckoo head. Hey Poo Poo. Hey Nini. Hey Pookie. Hey Picky Nose. Hey Choo Choo. 